Hi. Last week I posted a video about how we can keep Wall Street occupied by using the business reply mail envelopes that the big banks send us in with their credit card offers. Uh, this is not the original video. I just had a few quick follow-up thoughts. Uh, number one, please do it. It's great that the video bounces around on the internet and people are laughing, but this only starts a conversation with the banks if lots of people mail the envelopes back. Number two, please don't overdo it. Uh, some people are really running with the notion that because the heavier envelopes cost more in postage, uh, they should take the envelope and stick it on a brick, or I'm going to put it on a rabbit alligator, or I'm going to put it on a bowling ball. Don't do that. Please don't do that. It's overkill. Um, it's unrealistic. Alligators are reptiles. They can't have rabies. And all you really need to do is up the weight a little bit. Uh, put in some information about unions that the bank mail clerks can join. Uh, put in some cardboard. Put in some pennies. Uh, put in the rest of the junk mail you got that day. It's also totally okay to mail back the empty envelope. You're still part of the conversation that way. Um, number three, please don't be a wimp. Some people are freaked out that the banks are going to read a barcode or they're going to get your fingerprints on the envelope and they're going to track you down and then you'll be in trouble. Well, the banks aren't going to do that. That would be a huge hassle. And also, that's not trouble. Uh, people in this country got tear gassed this week because they went out in public and they spoke their mind. That's getting in trouble. This, this is low-key minor league stuff and I get that. I do. Um, please. We can all be brave enough to send in some empty envelopes. Uh, number four, please don't call this an alternative protest. Um, this is not an alternative to Occupy Wall Street. This is an additional protest. This should be a small part of the Occupy Wall Street movement. It's still important to be out there in the streets. Uh, number five, please scale this idea. Uh, if you uh, have access to uh, you know a whole lot of cardboard that you can cut out that could fit like this. Bring that cardboard to your local Occupy movement and uh, link to this video and make some friends. Have something to talk about with people. If you go to college, set up a folding table near the campus center mail rooms to make it as easy as possible for students to send back those envelopes. Uh, number six, this protest is not bad news for the people who work in the mail rooms or the big data processing warehouses for the bank. Let's dispense with the idea that more work is bad for people. That's, I mean, it's Halloween. It's like saying that Halloween is bad for candy stores because it causes huge lines for the cashiers. Um, this is overtime shifts. Uh, this is more employees. This is helping the banks hire more people. Um, I think this is good for those guys. Um, I know that envelopes won't destroy the big banks, and that's fine because I don't want to destroy anybody. Uh, I want to have a conversation. I want to have a huge crowdsourced conversation uh, with the nation's largest banks, and I want those banks to pay the postage on that conversation. That's it. This is small time stuff, and I get that. Um, it's Halloween now, so we'll stop talking about this. Um, be safe, uh, have fun, happy Halloween. Um, be careful, those of you in New York, because last year at the Goldman Sachs house, I got a candied apple uh, that was rated AAA, but when I got home, it was just razor blades. So watch out for that. That was really spooky. Um, otherwise, I'll be back later this week uh, with some more thoughts on things that we can do to bring the conversation to other actors in the financial system. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween again.